Welcome to Southern Shooters. My name's Rusty. We're here today at the uh, Adelaide Gun Show with Sean from STS Targets. How are you, Sean? Good, thanks, Rusty. Good to have you here, mate. Um, we're going to have a little chat about steel targets. Now, I guess uh, your company makes a number of steel targets as well as other shooting accessories. You probably know a thing or two about it. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Fantastic, mate. So, a lot of people shoot paper. Why would we shoot steel? Well, steel targets really excel where paper targets fail. You know, if you're talking longer range shooting, um, you can't see your bullet holes, even with you know really expensive spotting scopes. So, with a steel target, you always get a nice loud report um, from the from the bullet impact, and you'll see a nice clearly defined uh, bullet strike from the removal of the paper. So, what do we need to be aware of when we are shooting steel? Well, with all sorts of firearms shooting, you've got to be very conscious about safety. You know, you, you need to observe minimum shooting distances. You don't want to be shooting at, at ridiculously close range with high power rifles. There is a very minimal chance of, of splatter or ricochet coming back, but you can mitigate that by deflecting your targets, sort of lean them forward, so that any any splatter will go down and onto the ground. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Fantastic. Now your targets are hardened steel. Now what's the difference between that and regular steel? Why does that matter? Well, hardened steel, particularly the Bisloo 500, is a, a thorough hardened steel, which means it's it's hardened by the process of uh, heat treating and, and quenching and tempering, and it makes it uh, very hard, and as well as not being coming too brittle. So, uh, Bisloo 500 is an ideal shooting target for, for steel, and it's also the same grade of steel they use in uh, military applications, like uh, you know tanks or, or bulletproof vests. So with your target, Sean, what can we shoot it with? The Bislow 500 targets are rated for a wide range of centrefire rifle shooting, so you, you know, your 223s, your 308s. Um, really, the the calibre is going to define the distance. You know, if, you, if you're looking at 223s and 308s, you don't want to be shooting anything less than 100 metres. If you're talking Magnums, 300 wind mags, or your 22250s, which even though they're not a Magnum, they're very fast and very small, you, know, you want to be looking about 200 metres plus to start shooting at that, those sorts of guns. You said that we need to be careful when mounting to make sure that energy is dissipated rather than ricochets. What do we need to know about when we're mounting them? There's a number of ways you can mount a steel target. You can suspend them off a frame with some chains or rubber strips. You can put them on a fixed mount. Um, however, it's important if you're going to use a fixed mount that the target is actually angled forward. That will ensure that any splatter will be directed towards the ground. But ideally, you want a nice a swinging target, long chains, to really allow the movement of the target and that'll, that'll transfer the energy into the actual swinging motion rather than directly into the steel and it really extend the life of your target. Excellent, Sean. Well, we know what it is and how to mount it and what we use on it, but I'm a little bit confused by a lot of the terminology. Can you tell me what the difference is between Bissaloy and AR500, 400 and the rest of it? They're all basically the same. Um, Bissaloy is actually a brand of steel. It's a, it's a quenching tempered hardened steel. Uh, it's also referred to as Q&T, as in quench and temper, AR, which is abrasion resistant, um, and Bisaloy. There's also Hardox as well, which is another brand. The key piece of information is the number that comes after it. Bisaloy 500 or AR 500, Q&T 500, means it's a 500 grade plate, which is a typical brinnel hardness level of 500. So it's a, it's a very hard steel, um, and it's ideal for shooting Shoot, still shooting targets. Other variants such as 400, 320, 80, etc. That is obviously a lower grade, and where the numbers you know relate to the the brittle hardness. So, Sean, if we're going to invest good money into a target, big question: How long is it going to last? Well, if you use the appropriate mounting system and maintain the you know the, the appropriate range for the caliber that you, you're shooting the targets with, they'll outlast your barrel. Um, yeah, very hard, they'll, they'll take punishment and just hit them with a the spray paint end of the day and you're good to go the next day. Sure mate, these targets sound really good. You were kind enough to invite us out for a shoot the other week. I think we got some footage of that. Let's go shooting mate. Sounds good. So I found out something about Sean's range here that we we're on. There is mulberries everywhere. Mm. Hey 
good. Sean, thanks for having us out today, mate. Great fun shooting steel. No problems, thanks for coming out. It was good fun. It's good, and uh, thanks for the mulberries as well. I think I've got some stains on my yeah, shirt. Yeah, I've got some for the wife. Yeah, that's all right. I'll keep it for later. Anyway, thanks no for watching. We'll catch you next time.